Welcome back to Pride. Today's video is going to be the first of a series. I'm not sure how long this series is going to go because the reason for these videos is a personal goal of mine actually. Um, but I felt I should share it with everybody because I feel a lot of people might be in the same problem I am with everything going on in the world, with all the sickness going on in the world. Um, I lost 15 pounds of muscle from late March to early July, lost my appetite, uh, couldn't train, lost a lot of energy. Uh, July, I started finally feeling better and feeling getting back into training. Um, to gain that 15 pounds of muscle back, I gave myself a specific goal. I normally don't like to try to shoot for certain numbers when I'm doing repetitions or doing sets, um, but I know if I give myself a minimum and make sure I hit my minimum, then I make sure I do the amount I should be doing to really gain that muscle mass back. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you guys stay tuned for the whole series. These videos are going to be uploaded daily until I meet my goal, which is gaining those 15 pounds of muscle back. We're going to be focusing on core, chest, and arms. We're going to be doing 300 reps a day of core, 300 reps a day on chest, 300 reps a day on arms. So I got pretty sick back at the end of March. Um, it actually started with swelling in my finger. I realized now and looking back at it and later, maybe in about at the end of April, I realized that I, that was actually one of the symptoms of the COVID was blocked blood vessels that would cause swelling in your fingers or your toes. I actually saw images from Europe that doctors were documenting patients having those symptoms. So that was actually my first symptom. So I didn't think I had coronavirus when I first had that symptom. I thought I had an infection uh, in my finger, you know, went out, got antibiotics, started taking the antibiotics. Um, then I felt, you know, nauseous, loss of appetite. I chalked it up to, you know, sometimes side effects from antibiotics will do that to you. Um, you know, very weak, weak in my bones, weak in my muscles, wasn't really motivated to do much, didn't feel good at all. You know, got sicker and sicker for about a week or two. Um, and towards the end of it, you know, a little bit of breathing problems as well. So it was attacking my lungs as well. Um, wasn't sure if I had it, didn't think I had it. But uh, so, you know, no reason to get tested at the time. I, I thought maybe I had, you know, uh, infection in my finger causing, you know, infection in the body. So I, I felt I should feel the way I felt until later, you know, finding out that that was actually one of the symptoms and realizing I possibly had that. But either way, you know, when you're sick, you know, no one gains muscle mass when they're sick and when they're not feeling well. So no matter what the sickness you have or had that, uh, you know, caused you to really get out of shape and lose your energy and lose your your momentum of what you were doing before, um, it's a good way to get back into it. The second you start feeling ready and able is to give yourself a specific goal and make sure it's daily. That way it's consecutive. The hardest part of training is always... Uh, consistency doing things daily you can go hit the gym real hard one day but if you don't do it for two three weeks after you, you're not really gonna see any results you need to do things daily or at least consistently I always choose daily I go all out I train hard and that's just the way I'm gonna do it if you're ever trying to see a real increase in any specific part of your body this is the way to do it do it daily Give yourself a minimum, make sure you crush that minimum every day, and you'll see the results you want to see. So with this particular exercise, you always want to crunch up first before throwing those punches. If you find yourself throwing that punch from the mat as you're coming up, that's poor technique. You don't want to do that. You want to crunch up first and then throw those punches or those blocks. You'll notice the amount that I'm twisting. You're up, your core is engaged, and you're twisting, burning it up further. I always like to keep a notepad down here. Whenever I come up with any ideas for future videos, I like to jot them down, keep track of everything. It's good when you're doing these sets, if you're trying to keep track and make sure you hit your 300 minimum, it's good after each set just to jot it down. This way you keep track and you add up that total, make sure you hit your minimum.
So hitting that 300 minimum and going a little bit further, hitting that 322, it feels real good. My core is on fire. It feels good to be back doing what I used to do, try to get back into what I was before, you know, gain that 15 pounds of muscle back. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. We'll see. Time will tell. I'm going to be doing these daily, and I hope you guys enjoy that I'm sharing this with you and hope it motivates you, you know, whatever the reason, whatever... Uh, you know illness you might have had that made you lose weight or maybe you weren't even sick But you want to gain weight you need to gain some muscle mass or you just need some motivation for you know Just normal training in general. I hope this video helps you guys out and I hope you guys stay tuned to the whole series